Hey Object Guru here with hot new game Necrosphere Deluxe. I was sent this game today by the uh, PR people for the publishers, or at least the developer, Kat Nagiri, uh, a game that, sorry, a name that really upsets me because doesn't that a type of sushi? Are, are we eating cats now? Is that a thing? V-Sync? Sorry, is this originally on PC? Do PlayStation games do V-Sync? It's weird. Extra buttons. You know what? I'm sure I'll figure it out as I go. How many buttons do we need? Okay. Are we back in the gates of Horn and Ivory territory? Okay, yeah, we're back in the gates of Horn and Ivory territory. It's about the afterlife. And all the platforming adventures you have to do there. What? Okay, it's not, because that's just about a guy. Whereas this is about, uh, damn, some kind of an agent, FBI, Secret Service, DEA, nice, I'm already on board for the music. Alright, so, that, what the hell? Oh, that's weird. You use the triggers to move left and right. That I haven't seen in ever. And that's all you can do, move left and right, or are we going to add platforming? Oh, that's nice. Nifty gear to help you get out. I would hope. Only being able to move left and right will be quite a hassle. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh, this is weird. This is going to take some getting used to. Like, I'm sure it's all tuned to work perfectly, but wow. I said a million of those. Decker's room secrets. <laughs> I assume the fire hurts you. Oh, crap. Nope. Come on! Okay, that was close, but there's no way for me to get that. Oh, hover sticks. Oh. Whoa! This is definitely going to take some getting used to. Oh. There's a secret I can't get. Yet. Whoa. I'm already dead, right? So it doesn't matter that I... Ouch! Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Although I'm sure my end of game rankings will be based on how many times I got killed. That is, uh... That is how they judged me in death, Fungin, and uh, let's just say it was not a respectable number. Okay. That's right. I saw how that trick worked. Damn, yeah, the red ones definitely hurt you. Come on, we got this. What? No! Oh, whoa, they don't even let me change my mind about where I'm going. Oh, no! Actually, they do let me change my mind. I could go back there. Not going to, though. I'm seeing what's up this hallway. Gosh darn it. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, okay, Hogaru. Did you immediately pick the stupidest way to go? What? Go towards directions or go away from directions? Towards. I'm still learning how to play the game. Yeah, what do you got here? Science lingo for the place where you go when you die. I was supposed to go there and do nothing all day forever. Oh, that one has to regenerate. You can't just bounce on it over and over again. Huh. There's a tunnel down there, isn't there? I wonder what that tunnel's about. I'm already intrigued. Unless, no, I don't think that was just background decoration. I think that was a tunnel. What the hell is that? Do I have to unlock? Oh, is that telling me what world I'm in? Well, this place is chilling. I can't believe it took me a minute to figure out how to move in the game. Because in my defense, why would it occur to me to check the triggers? Well, we reached a save point. That's always a good sign. I think there's secret doors in some of these walls. No, right? Ugh. Alright, we can do this. Nope. 
I want one of these cards, damn it. Yeah! Oh, DVDs. Fine. Uh, what's that up there? So you gotta just balance on top of this thing? Oh! You have to hit a switch. Cool. So... Oh, wait! It said something in the press release. Um... Yes, if you get all the DVDs, you unlock a challenge dungeon. There you go. I was paying attention. Who said I wasn't? Uh, yes, if you get all the DVDs, you unlock a challenge dungeon that does something. Uh, I think it's a challenge dungeon where you have to beat it in one go? But I could be wrong. Ugh! Those don't go back down, do they? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Screwed that up right away. Alright. Now, they could be letting me use... Whoa! My thumbstick for this movement. They're just choosing not to! Should have seen that coming. Come on! You got this, Hogaru. Also, I think I saw a secret door over there to the left, so... Bear with me for a moment, would you? As I fail over and over again to find a secret door. <laughs> oh my god. How is this still happening? Oh, wow. Like, I haven't done that thing where I... Yeah, that's definitely a secret door. Anyway, where I, uh... Like, uh... Stop talking and then just show you all of my failures in fast motion for, like, a year. Uh, but I might, I might do that. Come on, yes! No, <laughs> wait! You son of a... Mm. I had that coming. That was hubris. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, half. You gotta time this just right, don't you? Wait, I got it. I got it. No, I don't got it. Yeah. Nope. I thought I could get a little closer to the edge. Oof. There we go. Nope. <laughs> we might be here a while. Oh my god. And I gotta say, if I hadn't played uh, Almost There, the platformer, this week, uh, that comes out in a little while, by the way. Uh, this would be the most frustrating game I'd played this week. Thank God! Uh-oh. Ooh, that was bad. So. No? I might not be able to figure my way through this. No? See, they make you jump at the top, so I figured if I could go just to the left... Alright, I think I got it. So you just get yourself into this updraft and then move yourself right to the left immediately. Right to the left. Excellent use of English, Hogaru. Yeah! Weirdly proud of myself for that one. So this is happening. Nope. One. Two. Nope. I thought it was going to be one of those things where you just had to hold left. But it wasn't. Although that was a lot less challenging than the last couple of things I did. Actually, all of the last... No! Oh, God. It's like we're back in Battletoads. And I know there's better um, analogies than Battletoads. Analogies? No. The word you're looking for is comparisons. Analogies are a different thing. Oh, my God. There's so much deciding which way to go in this game. Which is not something I'm used to seeing in this genre. Ugh. Nope. You really got to time this closely, don't you? Something I'm not great at doing! No, and then he jumped the wrong way. Huh. So many DVDs. Okay, here's my question. And maybe this is a nonsense question. Oh, I thought it was going to throw me over to the side, but it wasn't going to do that. Well, this is going to suck. Nope. I think I've got this. Nope. Close, though. I mean, I figured out how to do it. Just didn't do it. Uh, yes. I thought it would be funny if 
uh, you looked, uh, if it was possible to look at the DVD cases and know what movie they were of, because uh, they had uh, pixel arted up the uh, DVD case of an actual movie. Oh my god, please tell me that's my save point. Oh, thank god. I did not want to do that bottom part again. There's one thing I know, if there's, if there's one thing this game has taught me, it's that telling you how you're well you're doing and intimating how far you have left to go is for the weak. No. This is a, this is a never ending torment kind of hell. Come on. And your job is to just endure it. Come on. All right. <laughs> they tricked me. Oh, they did a good job of tricking me, though. That's that's a good prank. That's not Lonk's Adventure level a good prank, but that's that's a pretty good prank. By the way, uh, if you haven't played Lonk's Adventure, go buy a copy of Lonk's Adventure. You owe it to yourself. If you're capable of joy and you want your world to be a better place, go get yourself a copy of Lonk's Adventure. Oh, I thought I had that one that time. There we go. Uh, Lonk's Adventure is a delightful uh, parody of Zelda 2 that is so much more than... Uh, whoa. Than I think it's like it's easy to go into and it's not um it's not fully a parody of zelda 2 the way um uh gun world 2 was a parody of zelda 2 thank god for the frequent checkpoints in this game like if i had one thing to compare this to no no there's nothing to compare this to this is the controls are so weird that it's kind of difficult to compare it to anything i was just gonna say what if i want to be the guy I had accessible controls well, that's not really it either just, there's a lot of, um, sorry, not accessible controls. What is wrong with me? A forgiving, uh, failure structure. Oh, come on. Oh, that didn't make me happy. Of course. How? I honestly don't understand what I'm supposed to do. You got this. So if I just hold right while I touch that one? No. How can I avoid hitting the top there? I'm I'm at a loss as to what I'm supposed to do here. Because you can't reach that bubble from the middle. But there's no wait. Oh, I get it. Alright, I'm a dumb dumb. Anyone ever, any ever, uh, uh, anyone can see that. Whew. Oh, thank god, it's one of the pre-design jumps. Okay. Three, two... Wait a minute, why don't I just go here? Oh, good, it's offset. Not offset enough! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, you couldn't have continued me at the top of this? So that happened. Okay, we got this. Come on. You know what, Oguru? You, go you lose ten seconds of gameplay, maybe you don't spend so much time second-guessing yourself and just run for it. That was lucky. Or was that just cleverly placed to save people who were bad at this game? Whoa! Oh my god! Well, I was just... I just spent a whole video talking about my love of sadistic platformers. Taking away your ability to jump is, uh... Whew, about as sadistic as a platformer can get. You know, when I thought when I start, first started playing this game, my thought was, uh, I didn't even share this with anybody, so sorry about that. My first thought was, is it going to be one of these, uh, yes! Oh, thank God. What? Everything about this game is torturous. <laughs> but in a way, I respect. Uh, one of those evil land type situations where they gradually give you the uh, abilities you're supposed to use to get through the game. And the answer is no, that's, that's not what this game's about. That's the way I came from, right? Yeah, that's the way I came from. But we're going the other way now. 
And once I've destroyed both sides, I can go down the middle of the shaft. I get it. I figured it out. Oh, you bastard. Oh my god. What? Oh, we got this. Nope. Ugh. Wait. Oh, wow, I must have that. Okay. Nope. Whoa. Hmm. I got it. Nope. <sighs> hmm. What are you doing to me? Hmm. Nope. Alright. It's happening. Whew. Again, I'm not going to say something like I'm being tortured by this game. I'm not dramatic. <laughs> oh. Oh. Almost. Do you think they'll give me a save point at the top, or are they not going to give me a save point at the top? They gotta give me a save point at the top, right? Like, does this game hate me? Uh, okay. Uh, Alright. Nope. No. This might be the longest I've gone, right? Like, the most deaths anyway. That'd be nice if at the end of the game they keep track of each, like, um... Huh. Uh, uh, distinct platforming area between checkpoints and told you which one you had the most trouble with. Alright, so just fall right down the middle, right? And then, nope! Middle, then left. Oh no! They didn't save my point at the top. Hmm. Be great if after fretting about them not saving my point at the top, I immediately uh, proved to be great at the game, but no. That's not how it works. <laughs> oh, that time he got up to the top with no trouble at all. I panicked that time. I think you all saw me panic. So that's what panicking looks like, huh? Alright, so fall and hard left. Oh my god, I hated that more than... Well, yeah, you saw it. I mean, I don't have to engage in hyperbole. You all saw what happened. What? Nope. Almost had that. Is this a joke? All right, I think I got this. Almost. Yeah, I'm glad I did this one second. If I had done this one earlier, I might have quit this... No! Game. Uh, but now that I know that I'm capable of things... <laughs> I, I feel like it's worth me taking a shot at this. Okay. What I wish... Like... I mean, this is such a minor thing. I wish there was just a teensy bit more precision in the way my guy moves. Because he's got so much overrun. Every time you tap the button, he moves so far that you can't, like... There's a lack of... Uh, stoppage? You know? Like, you don't really feel like you're under complete control of him. Oh, there we go. Now the part that sucks. How am I supposed to do this? Alright, let's watch it. Just jump straight up right there? Yeah, straight up right there. Okay. Excuse me? Oh, you have no idea how much that terrified me just then. Who is this character? Huh. Two of 20 DVDs. Ouch. That's, that sucks. Okay. Let's do this. Whew. Ugh. You know, I got up to grab some water, and the minute I did, I forgot how the game's controls work. Of course, that's how this one works. Okay, we got this. Nope, we don't. Um. Yeah, 
lots of lots of momentum on this this cat. Not a lot of stopping power. Not what stopping that power means, Hoguru. Oh shush. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of places. A uh, what? Cheated my way through that one. Mm, almost. We got this. Oh, that happened twice. Is it weird that the guy responsible for being Erica made the show Slasher? It's not weird, it's just it seems funny to me. Boom. Okay. 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 Oh, timing is a little... Come on. Also, I know I say this all the time, but being Erica was... wasn't a quarter of the show that uh, Wonder Falls was. Though. Of course, if it wasn't for Wonderfalls being cancelled, we might never have gotten Hannibal, so... I guess in the end it was worth it, but... Come on! Still feel sorry for what happened to poor Tyron Lightso. The star of a little movie called... Oh, House of the Dead. Nope! Oh. Yes! Oh my god! And now one of these juggle bubbles? A juggle bubble I'm not at all ready to deal with. The chomping teeth that look vaguely electronic are kind of creepy and menacing to me. Do you know how I know these guys weren't in the FBI? Uh, it's a fun story. Uh, all FBI agents are listed as special agents because they are badly insecure about, you know, seeming like the best. So there's no such thing as an FBI agent. There's only such thing as an FBI special agent. So in, uh, in a little movie called Die Hard, he's like, I'm Agent uh, Johnson. This is Special Agent Johnson. No, they're both Special Agent Johnson. That's just how the FBI works. They only have special agents because they're cripplingly insecure. Come on, give me some directions! Thanks? <laughs> the normal sphere. Necrosphere and normal sphere. Oh, crap. Nope, timed that badly. Okay, that almost worked. Okay, that's cute. Just as it's about to drop, everybody. Yeah! You have an all of eternity to look for an exit. Oh, crap. Was I supposed to do that, or was I supposed to go up on that platform? The platform just gives you extra time, right? To think about what you're going to do next. Or maybe the platform's a continue point, or... Ogaroo, you can't stop like that. The whole point of this level... I don't even know what happened there. That one's on me. Nope. Yeah, the momentum is starting to bug me a little. Like the momentum based movement. I know it's kind of what the whole game is designed around, but ugh. I'm so used to uh, ugh, my uh, sadistic platformers having incredibly tight controls or me complaining about them. And I know they're doing something completely different with the controls here. So, it, you know, it doesn't even make sense to criticize it like I would a normal sadistic platformer, but yeah, it bothers me. Whoa. All right, right at the bottom. Nope, way too late. Just, your timing was garbage there, Hoguru. Okay, got it. Nope. We got this. 
Come on. All right, here we go. And then you have to stop. All right, three, two, wait, what are you doing? Don't, don't over-dramatize this over, just go for it. What? I'm weirdly proud of myself for that one. All right, here, we got this. We got this, right? Yeah, we got this. Right at the top. Two. Nope. Right at the bottom. No! Mm. See what I mean? It's the momentum that gets me. Every time, well, no. A lot of the time, it's the momentum. Sometimes I just make mistakes. A lot of the time, it's the momentum that gets me. You gotta take off your button, you know, a half a second before you wanna stop. See? Okay, right at the bottom. That one, you barely had to press it at all, and I just held it down like a goof. Here we go. Come on. Nope. Come on. is happening, right? Like, this is... You're, you're all seeing this happen? I'd say this is getting embarrassing. That's self-evident. No! Now I'm like, are you forgetting to try, Hoguru? This is really bad. Hmm. And then you now you're just second guess. Ooh. You are now just second-guessing yourself about where to stop. Whew, here we go. If you haven't seen Toast of London, you have to see Toast of London. I believe it's still on Netflix. It is on Canadian Netflix. I can't speak to American Netflix, but... If you haven't seen Toast of London, you have to see, to you have to see Toast of London. I don't know your sense of humor, but if you like things that are funny, there's a good chance you're going to like Toast of London. I just realized something. Do I have to wait at all? Like, I always stop at the end, but as long as I'm right at the top, won't it just... Yeah, okay, we'll just get me there. All right, I've been massively underthinking this. All right. Right down at the bottom. Stop. 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 That was bad. Come on. We're so close. We can taste it now. Down at the bottom. Take a breath. Come on. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? This feels like a joke. No, whoa. Forgot about the bubbles. This feels like a cruel joke. Nope. Well, at least they don't make you do this one a while. Nope. No, Guru. You got this. This is happening. Or not. Or you're going to be stuck in this corridor for all of eternity. Um, I just saw the next one. Yeah, the lack of precision is really hurting me here. I'm not saying this is going to be what we're going to call it a night, but we might be calling it a night here. Whew. Uh, uh, uh. That was not a sound that anyone found acceptable. Okay. Take a breath. You got this. No, you don't. All right. I think we've learned our lesson have to call it here. Like, I can tell when whatever like, skills I had have left me. Because for this next one, I have to run forward, then immediately run back out. Well, let's try it. I, 
panicked and ran early. Although I don't need to tell you that. You saw that. Stop. Huh. I think I might have gotten the vibe of this finally. No! Oh my god! I stopped too early. We did it! We made it to the next area! What do you think, red or blue? Fans or um, buzzsaws, fans, whatever, or blue. Fans or buzzsaws or whatever. What is that? Well, at least we give the ability to need to jump. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, that's awkward. I cannot express to you how awkward the tap twice to dash command is. Like, it's super awkward. <laughs> you got me. All right. So, I got the first power-up. Maybe the only power-up. Who can say? Certainly not me. Uh, so, we're going to take this as a perfect opportunity to take a break. Uh, I have been the Hidden Object Guru. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more from me, uh, check out the buttons that are coming up. They can help you with that. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comments section below the video. If you'd like to be here for live streams where the games like these get played, check out the Discord channel. That's where I announce them. There's a link to that down there as well. I will see you back here for more new and upcoming, oh my god, games. Uh, but until then, I'm going to say, no, au revoir. You see how, like, there's nothing about this game that, uh, that would prevent you from just moving with the controller and jumping with a jump button? Just putting that out there. And now you have, you couldn't do the blue first. You need to go get the, oh. Three of them basically warp pipes will take you back to the main trans. Fourth one is solid. No! So if you make the wrong decision. Uh, wasn't I supposed to stop this? Yeah, I was. Later.